Master Cao Pi, Wu has built a wall that spans several hundred leagues along the Shangjiang. Hmm, that sounds like quite a sight. I'll give it to Wu. They sure know how to make an impression. It seems they also possess talented men who can help in their efforts to conquer the land. It may be difficult to launch an attack on them now. I'm not sure. Although Wu won the Battle of Ealing, their strength is probably at a low right now. As such, it's highly unlikely they managed to build these walls in such a short amount of time. I see. There must be some secret behind them. However, no matter what, it is clear that Wu is not to be underestimated. I fought in battle with the men of Wu at Perfei, and found them all to be honorable warriors, both intelligent and brave. It is just as you say, my lord. The true threat of Wu lies in the personnel it has managed to assemble. As such, we must strive to match them in both wisdom and valor. Let us go forth and display the talent that the forces of Wei possess! Wu is weak after its fight with Xu. This is our best chance to finally bring an end to those meddling fools for good. up to their same old tricks. Watch them tremble before our castle walls. So they built a long and winding wall along the far bank of the Shangjiang. It doesn't make any sense. Where did they find the time? Now, activate the siege weapons. We can use them to push back the Wei forces. They built such a castle in such a short space of time? The Ooze military strength is so fearsome! Oh, I couldn't have built that so quickly. We must investigate those walls. Fire the bows from our castle walls! Do not let any of them near the main camp! What? A rain of arrows from the castle walls? We can't get close like this. Let's do this. The Infong's fire attack unit should be arriving any moment now. If successful, we should beat back the Wei army. They broke off the alliance and attacked us. I refuse to forgive Wei for their transgressions. Let's do this with a smile. The men who went to check the walls have returned. They found nothing of note. There's nothing that's strange about him. So it really is. A giant fortress. It seems I'm destined to lose yet another home. I have failed myself and our people. I have conquered Guanling. Finally, Wu shall draw its last labored breath. <laughs> we must withdraw, Sima Yi. Although we were victorious, we have incurred heavy losses. It will be difficult to continue our advance. As you command, my lord. <sighs> my lord? 
I remember my father also once faced a rapid decline in his health. It seems that the effort required to change the world can take quite a toll on one's body. You have constantly been on the move ever since losing your father. I think that you should rest for a while. <laughs> I would very much like to. I have not been able to spend much time with you lately. Let us fall back to Luo Yong for now, Jen. Yes, my lord. In Shu, after the death of Liu Bei, his son Liu Chan becomes emperor. Zhuge Liang and the other ministers support him and make plans to restore the country to its former strength. After repelling the Wei invasion, they also succeed in conquering the troublesome Nanjong tribes. Elsewhere, Wu successfully repels the Shu attack on Yiling. When Zhuge Liang once more proposes an alliance, they accept. All of this was simply to oppose Wei, who continued to seek to conquer the entire land. While all this had been happening, Wei had focused their efforts on domestic affairs and increased their own strength in order to be ready for the upcoming showdown with Wu and Shu. Hefei has suffered frequent attacks from Wu, but Master Cao Chu's skilled battlefield management has been able to repel each one. Morale has been waning amongst the Wu troops, and a number of them have already defected to our side. Cao Chu has been fighting for us since my father first raised troops. He's not likely to go down without a fight. <coughs> My lord! There's no need to worry. I must have caught a cold. However, as our leader, we cannot have you pushing yourself too hard. Sima Yi, attending to our domestic affairs is our most pressing business. There is no time for me to rest. We cannot afford to follow the failures of the Han court. Zhang He. What is Xu currently up to? Xu has pacified the lands of Nanjiang and brought stability to the region. If we present an opening to them, they will strike us without hesitation. However, we also enjoy great stability. I doubt they will ever find the opening they seek. In that case, we should be safe from attack for another 10 years. However, we cannot afford to leave them be for such an extended period of time. We need to find a way to rid ourselves of them once and for all. Your Highness, I consider Wu to be the more immediate threat. Lu Xun has been named Governor General. His talent rivals that of Zhao Yu and Lu Meng. Well, that reduces our time frame even further. Sima Yi, I want you to go to Shou Chun and watch Wu's movements. Report back to me with your findings. Now, I must be leaving for Shou Chun. 
In regards to that, Master Sima E, I have been hearing a troubling rumor. It seems Master Cao Cho has been working together with the former U officer Zhou Feng to attack Shi Ting. What? Zhou Feng not only sent Master Cao Cho a total of seven letters, but he also even cut his hair in front of him while weeping profusely in order to prove his loyalty. I hear that Master Cao Cho was greatly moved by Zhou Feng's actions and accepted his surrender. Yes, he is too kind to people. Or perhaps it's better to say that he is too honest and trusting. <laughs> you can say that again. Although, Master Sima Yi, does this story concern you as much as it does me? Shiting is the perfect spot to place an ambush. If one ventures too far into it, they may be surrounded by the enemy. If Zhou Feng's surrender was merely a ruse... Hmm. Yes, Zhou Feng's actions do seem rather suspicious. You say he sent seven letters and even cut his beloved locks? It seems a bit excessive to me. Well, at any rate, we shall stick to our original plan and head to Shochun. There is little point in worrying about that matter now. We shall ascertain the details upon our arrival. I have news for you. Ah, Master Cao Cho! I am relieved to see that you are safe. I am grateful for you rescuing me. However, I am afraid to show my face to anybody. My foolishness led me to be deceived by Zhou Feng and put my allies in danger. 
You should not be so hard on yourself, Master Cao Cho. The enemy simply use their craftiness to take advantage of your trusting nature. Indeed. Furthermore, the battle is not over yet. We must save as many allies as we can and defend Shochun. Master Man Chong, Master Shu Huan, I cannot thank you enough. I must put my regrets behind me and keep pressing forward. I shall overcome the enemy and eliminate the threat facing our forces. It was my fault for believing Zhou Feng. That is why I must defeat Lu Xun and win back everybody's trust. get any further. We had the advantage here, but I failed. I'm sorry. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. I'm definitely serious. Certainly went easily. <sighs> the enemy's really not gonna go down without a fight. I'd better fall back if I'm hoping to rejoin this fight. Somehow, we made it out of that predicament. I imagine the enemy is quite disappointed things didn't turn out the way they planned. Let us enjoy this moment in the sun.
The Wu army's fighting spirit burns with a raging passion. If we're not careful when exiting the castle, we're likely to get burned. Now we can attack the castle without worry. Our troops have secured our rear flank against the enemy forces. We must not give them a chance to strike back. Our next move shall be to occupy Shoshun in the name of U. Let's do this with a smile. Lord Yu Shun, reinforcements have arrived from the captured base. That is excellent news. This should boost the morale of our troops considerably. Very talented fighter. Let's do this with a smile. Well done. You have the heart of a warrior. Overly confident in our victory. All right, our army is victorious. It is thanks to your efforts that we have removed the stain from our name. That certainly went easily. Thanks to everybody's help, we were able to defend Shochun. However, our losses were quite severe. I shall return to Luoyang and accept whatever punishment Master Cao Pi has in store for me. Master Cao Cho? I bring news from Luoyang! Our Imperial Highness has passed away! What? What? Master Cao Pi is gone! Master Sima Yi, what should we do? Hmm. Once they hear word of our Emperor's passing, Wu and Shu will surely move to attack us. We must come up with a plan before then. Master Man Chong, can I entrust you with the preparations against Wu? Yes, of course. I shall gather up our men and reform the defensive lines. I shall defend Shou Chun as well. I am certain that Master Cao Pi would want me to do so. Everybody else, I want you to prepare our defenses against Shu. Now, I must quickly make my way to Shang'an. Shall be done. According to reports, Sun Chuen is leading an army of one hundred thousand men here to New Perfect Castle. This is a most unfortunate situation in which we find ourselves. I feel terrible for the soldiers of New Perfect Castle. This is disastrous. There is no chance of victory for us. Clearly they are desperate after being unable to secure a victory at Xiting. It will only be a matter of time before they surround us here. Master Man Chong. Can we not retreat as far as Shochun and wait for reinforcements from Luo Yong? Yes. Uh, no. Wait. I don't think that is the right move. But why not? Retreat is surely the best way to save the lives of our men. 
Perfei to the east, Xiangyang to the south, and Mount Qi to the west are all highly contested. If we lose Perfei, Wu will gain a foothold towards the central plains. That will prove to be problematic for us, to say the least. That is why we must defend this land no matter what. That is certainly true. Furthermore, from the fire attack at Chi Bi to the fake defection at Shi Ting, Wu has caused nothing but trouble recently. I cannot sit back and let them do as they please. Do you not wish to fight back and avenge our recent losses? I, too, would like nothing more than to achieve a measure of vengeance. It may be what all of us need to give us the motivation to move on. This castle has undergone many repairs to help bolster its defenses. Its men are also well trained in the art of defending it from the enemy. As such, it should be easy enough for us to make our move while they buy us some time. We can overcome this situation if we work together, help out our allies, and begin making preparations to meet the U assault. We have surrounded New Buffet Castle with the full extent of the U forces. Forward! This is our chance to finally defeat Wei! Report! Wu Rams have appeared on the battlefield. Let's do this with a smile! Report! The Wu Rams have started to attack the front gates of New Puffet Castle. We will use a fire attack against the Wu forces at the main gate. Quickly, make the preparations before it's too late. Report! The fire attack unit has been defeated. We can't start the attack now. Hmm. I didn't expect them to predict our fire attack. We're going to have to come up with another plan. will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Let's do this with a smile. Reporting. The Wu Rams have broken through the front gates of the castle. Oh, I wasn't expecting them to have battering rams. The gates didn't stand a chance. Let's do this with a smile. Finish with a smile! They neglected to secure the castle's rear entrance. We shall use it to infiltrate the castle and stop the way siege weapons. Yes! The Wu are attacking! Curse them! But there's still time! Intercept them! Oh, 
just as I expected. The Wei defenses are quite solid. We need to call in reinforcements from Xi Ting. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Looks like you're a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. I shall bring down this new castle of theirs at Fur Fay. The enemy's about to see just how ready for battle I am. to bring an end to this battle. All units, prepare to charge on the enemy's main camp! Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Let's do this with a smile! The enemy is going to attack us here! Everyone, prepare to defend this spot! Let's do this with a smile! Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly! All units, march! Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Let's do this with a smile. We must capture that position in order to win this battle. Keep moving forward. to such greatness. Let's do this with a smile. Let's do this with a smile. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. You've proven to be a very talented fighter. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me. Greatly. All units march! This looks like a pretty strong foe. How did I let my enemy get the better of me? This was our chance to do great things in this battle and beyond. We've managed to make it out of there. 
It was due to the cooperation from everybody that we're still alive. <laughs> Finally, we have avenged our defeat at the hands of U. <laughs> I feel as if a great weight has been lifted off of our shoulders. Incredible to overcome such a deficit in troop numbers and claim victory. Your courage and strategic brilliance will be spoken of for generations, Master Man Chong. I am simply in awe of the great guardian of New Perfei Castle. It was a victory of such magnitude that it puts all previous encounters in the shade. Soon Zhuan must be shaking in his boots. This should silence Wu for a little while. I think I can handle Perfei's defenses on my own. I want you to return to Luo Young and report our victory. Sima Yi, you did well in holding off the Shu attack, much like my predecessor. I place great trust in you. However, I have been hearing strange rumors lately. Have you heard them as well? No, I'm not aware of these rumors you speak of. What are people saying? They say that the Sima family... No, they say that you are plotting to steal the Imperial throne. Forgive me, but those rumors have no basis in reality. Hmm, I wonder if that is true. There is a letter posted on the castle gates everywhere. It says that Master Sima E is plotting to conquer the land. Do you still pretend to know nothing about it? What? What kind of idiot would do something like that? Hiya, please take everybody outside. I wish to speak to Sima Yi and the others alone. As you command. The country is currently in chaos. Due to the sudden death of my predecessor, I do not wish this unrest to spread any further. Sima Yi, forgive me for asking, but would you consider resigning from your post for the good of the land? How can you even ask such a thing? Have you any idea how much my father has done for the Kingdom of Wei? Silence, Zhao. You are standing before your Emperor. Forgive me, Father. If that is your wish, Your Highness, then I have no choice but to obey. She, Zhao. Begin making preparations for us to return to Shuchang. Forgive me, Sima Yi. Ah, how could this happen? Master Cao Pi! Father, you must not despair. Master Cao Pi's spirit lives on. All hope is not lost. But for Master Sima Yi to be removed from governmental service because of baseless slander? Just what is happening to this land? I'm a little conflicted about the whole thing, to be honest. The Cao clans had a rough time of it recently. What with Cao Cho at Xiting, and Master Shahu Mao Jiating. Master Shahu Ba, how can you say such things? You are General Shahu Yuan's son. You must not act in such an obsequious manner. 
Obsequious? You think? Okay, sorry. I bring news. Shu forces led by Juga Leong have come over Mount Qi to the Uzhong Plains. They appear to be preparing for a long battle. What? Shu's already on the move? We must at least do what we can to prevent them from striking first from the Wuzhang Plains. I don't think they can possibly know yet that Master Sima Yi is not here, but the letters which led to the slander against him must have been the work of Zhuge Liang. An Imperial envoy has been sent to Shu Chang to recall Master Sima Yi. You think he'll make it in time? Chang'ang lies just on the other side of the Wujang Plains. I'd like to think the defensive units can hold out, but with no commander? Then my father and I will head there first. Do you have some plan, Lady Xin Qianying? Not a plan, as such. I just think that my presence may help to ease the fear and unease of the troops. I see. You are right that excessive worry within the ranks is a grave concern. We will accompany you to the Wujang Plains. Traitors are getting carried away. Why is Lord Sima'i not moving? Will he allow us to be humiliated like this? Stay calm. The enemy is getting just as impatient as we are. No, no more. Let's do it. Let's show them just what we can do. <laughs> now wait! That is exactly what the enemy wants us to do. Oh. <sighs> That's exactly right, everyone. No matter what Shu does, we must remain calm and in control. Xian Ying, you! Oh, Lady Xin Shan Ying! Our lady has finally come. It looks like the enemy is just taunting us at the moment. So let us relax and prepare ourselves. Oh, of course! Yes, my, my lady! lady. You continue to amaze me, young lady. You were able to calm the men so easily. <laughs> but I am very serious. But we must fight our best if we are to have hope for tomorrow. Master Xin Pi, Lady Xin Xian Yi, you did well to control the troops and defend your position. It is safe to say that Shu has now lost its chance at victory. <laughs> I am happy to have helped. Anything to ensure that we can all keep moving forward. But Master Sima Yi, why is it that you say Shu has lost its chance at victory? There are two reasons. The first is that they are facing a shortage of provisions after their long journey. Eventually, they are bound to run out of provisions. Our taunts forced them to rush into battle. Now, we just need to wait for them to retreat 
and then we can strike. The second reason is... My lord, Lord Man Chung has defeated the Wu army at Pafei. <laughs> this is it! Wu was supposed to be Shu's savior, but they have fallen to our forces. There is no need to wait for them to exhaust their provisions. We shall take the offensive. My showdown with Shu, no, Zhuge Liang himself, is about to begin. We shall grind the Shu forces into dust here on the Wuzhang Plains. At last, Zhuge Liang is destined to meet a miserable end. <laughs>